We often hear about how hemp plants can be used towards a more natural medical treatment, but have you ever thought about the fact that they can help build houses and even things like toilet paper? Here at Alabama A&M's Agricultural Research Station, hemp is planting its roots. Dr. Ernst Siebert manages this land and is a big part of this project. He says growing these plants is all about expanding a portfolio for farmers and the industry. This crop behind me is not for medical purposes. It's not for CBD purposes. It's strictly for industrial, to be able to make fibers for clothing, to be able to use the, uh, the herd fiber for building houses. Their research shows farmers that this kind of plant can be grown and processed here, and it's sustainable. This is a weed uh, in the sense that it will grow regardless. It does, like any other crop, would require a certain amount of water, some uh, rainfall. But for the most part, this is a crop that does not require any kind of input for pesticide. It also grows really fast. This is just two months old. And when the plant is ready to be harvested for fiber, it goes through a process called redding, where it's cut, then rots in the field, and... will begin to separate itself from the core fiber, that's the herd. And that happens naturally with microorganisms in the soil, uh, on the ground. Then eventually, the whole material that's cut will be bale, just like a round bale of hay. Right now, the materials here are sent to Montgomery, where two streams of fiber are created. A bass fiber for clothing that would go to Patagonia, that would go to Columbia, those type of companies. Uh, and then the herd fiber will actually come back here in Huntsville to go to a local developer who's going to begin the process of building houses with hemp. Uh, our products. That local developer is Hyde Homes. And not only is this research expanding knowledge for farmers in the industry, it's also helping out the federal government. By testing new genetic lines of hemp, so the uh, USDA and the federal government can replenish their stock of genetics of hemp. And that's a different plot here at, at the research station. The 2018 Farm Bill opened the door for researchers and farmers to grow hemp, but you must have a permit and the plants can't contain more than 0.3% THC. Our work here is very, very crucial for the rebounding of hemp, at least the scientific part of it here in the United States. We are making sure that we begin the process to let local farmers, local builders, manufacturers, the auto industry, all these people to know that this product has a future in their world. Now, Fox 54 plans to do some more coverage on the research that they're doing here. But for now, in the weeds, Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News.